Hello everybody and welcome to another amazing Merry Marvel 8 stream. Thank you all for joining me again on this sensational Saturday afternoon. I hope you're all doing well this weekend. Uh, we're going to play some more Kingdom Hearts. For those who are uninitiated, this is my first run through the series, blind run, no spoilers please. We have defeated the first game, we are moved, we have already moved on to the second, Rechain of Memories, which looks familiar but plays fairly differently. Uh, since the end of the last stream, I did a little bit of grinding just to kind of get my feet a little bit more wet in it and uh, uh, level up a little bit. Uh, so I think we should be good to go now. Might need to, it has been, a, it's been a week, so I might need to uh, take a second to reacclimate to the controls. But uh, I changed up my deck a little bit. Uh, not a whole lot of magic going on in there. I like the Simba card. Simba is fun. Uh, but I guess you'll see what I've got going on when we get in here again. Uh, da -da, yes, load. Let me load my previous experiences. There we go. What a huge load. Alright, let's get back in here. So yes, last time we did Agrabah. We're probably just going to have to run through that again now since I went back to grind. But uh, story-wise, we have finished Agrabah. So uh, let's go back in there. And fight our way through so we can move on uh, to the next area. Everything is coming through all right here. Sweet. All looks good. All right. Can I smash this box? I can pick it up. Give me this. All right. And anyone want some of this? No? Cool. All right. We'll smash some carts on the way. Boosh. Get these lovely green balls. Is this going to be a thing? Nope. Yeah, so I need to uh, run through here again. So, card with number one or higher or zero. Okay, do I have any ones? I've got a one in here. Only a few heartless appear. Cool. Let's see. So we'll just kind of run through here. Since, like I said, we already did it. I'll fight some enemies if I see them. Yeah, so I've got like a... Hey, how's it going? When is my next video coming out? I'm not sure. I was hoping to get it up at the end of last week, but uh, ended up not being able to. Uh, just because, you know, basically I'm back to work full time, so video production might be a little bit slow going forward again. But I'm hoping to get it up at the end of uh, this week going forward. Hopefully. I'm like well into the script now, so uh, so we should be able to. But, you know, I, I do want to take my time with the videos to make them as good as possible is the other thing. Which is not saying much for uh, what I got going on. But how do I target again? No. Uh, it's this button. That's right. Okay. They changed the target button on me in this game. Yeah, my deck I've got now, as you can see, is like a bunch of basic swipes, then a card to reload them, and then sim- oh man. Alright, let me heal. Yeah, basically it's a bunch of uh, basic attacks. It is not Howard the Duck, I will confirm that. Uh, so yeah, it's like a bunch of basic attacks. Then a card that like reloads all of those, so I like do those twice on one run, on one, uh, on one load. And then Simba to like clear out some enemies. Then a heal, and then obviously I can kind of restore. So now I can use Simba. And it works well, because on like the really basic enemies, I can do a little bit of, of mashy. Like, I don't need to worry too much about it. And like on the tougher bosses, obviously I can kind of take my time a little bit more to make sure that I'm trying to break their cards or whatever. Or, uh, queue up my, uh, my attacks to like break their cards, stuff like that. 
There we go. And Simba. Yeah, I believe it is going to be one that you did a um, request slash suggest. So, uh, yeah, don't you worry. I think you're going to like it, Heather. Alright, cool. More of those. Look at that. Oh, did I get another... Uh... Yeah, I got a couple of those. That's a one and that's a two. Do I need ones that I can replace with a two? I don't. Oh yeah, the other thing is I've got this guy here. That's right. Yeah, this guy here stops me, stops enemies from breaking my cards for up to 20 attacks. This guy slightly extends range for 30 attacks. I don't know if guard armor is that great. I'm not married to that one, but I kind of like extending my range anyway. We'll see how it goes. That I've got a 2... Alright, so we'll leave that as it is. Dang it. Boosh. There we go. Still getting used to having, uh, having my target on R2. Wondering if I should be queuing up my attacks more with the uh, triangle as opposed to doing this. Oh, hang on, I gotta. Oh, hang on, I've got my friends available so I can do that before I reload the deck. That works anyway. Okay, so two or higher or zero. So let's see, what do I have a two? And I've got a two in this one. Many heartless appear. Yeah, whatever. Let's just kind of try and run to the end here now. There's another door. Okay, which way do I need to be going? I think to the north of here is where I need to head. Okay, so probably, let me see here. Ah, here we go. Do I need anything special to open this one? Uh, let's see. Need a blue card, and hang on, do I have the, no, I don't, I don't think I have the other one. Or no, I already put that in place. Room containing treasure, room where you can save your progress, no heartless. Room where cards be, can be traded with Moogles at the Moogle shop. Let's try that. Uh, I guess I'll do the two. Oh no, it's not going to work because ugh, I thought that meant I already had that in place, but I don't. Alright, I was a fool. I was a danged fool. But I'm wondering if it should be queuing up like this. I'll stop. I'll stop my cards from getting broken. Then they don't. I, I lose one every time I do that. So. It is a trade-off. Uh-oh, hang on. Uh, crap. There we go. Oh, that didn't heal very much at all. Alright, let's take care of these guys anyway. So I actually can't go through there. 
Let's try this one, then. Uh, number three or higher, so... Ba -ba -ba, what do I have here? I'll do this one. I've got a three in here. Premium room. Victory often leads to premium bonuses. Okay, whatever. Right now, I'm just trying to kind of move forward. Might as well try and get some victories in here, though, if it's going to give me premium bonuses. Oh, these guys are all stunned, too. This is great. I'm not really, I'm not too arsed about paying too close attention to the, uh, to the card break stuff when I'm not, like, a boss encounter or a particularly tough one. Wow, come on. Donald, seriously. Take this dude out for me, will you? Oh, that was a recover. Oh, there you go. There you go, you zapped him with the lightning. You love to see it, don't you? You kind of love to see it. It's good to see it every once in a while. You smash those boxes. Uh, yeah, so let me see if we can move on to the next area already. Whee! Uh, here's a door. Hang on. Okay, here we go. It's that creepy castle that I was talking about earlier. I know I didn't imagine it. Because that was the castle where Sora had to use the Keyblade to free Kyrie's heart. Oh. Then he just disappeared. And I was so worried. How could I ever forget that? Yeah, in the first oh. game. It was when I turned into a heartless. Wait, that happened in a castle? Uh, yeah, sort of. Then what's it called? Every word. I finished the first volume right before we got to this castle. Now then, if I can just find it... Oh, <laughs> here we go. Let's have a look. Oh, how could it be? What's the matter? All my entries, they're gone. Every page is blank. Well, that's an issue. How could this have happened? I'm so careful with the journal. <laughs> All that hard work is gone. Aw, Jiminy. The journal's blank. What's going on? There's some, like, weird mental stuff going on here. Like, this is, this is like, all in his head or something. Alright, so. Well, hang on. Can I talk to you guys? Okay. Once we get out of the castle, let's help Jiminy rewrite the journal. Yes. I don't think Jiminy would erase his own journal. No, I don't think so either. But I don't know if Jiminy is actually here. Or you guys, for that matter. Who dis? Hello? Well, that was something. Don't know exactly what. This whole castle is screwy. It's more things. Huh? Goofy was telling us about another castle we've been to. But none of us really remembers it. Do you think? Could it be 
that we don't remember because we're losing our memories? Losing our memories? Hold on. Remember what that mystery fella said? We're gonna have to chain in those memories place, down. To find is to lose, and to lose is to find. It must have been our memories he was talking about losing. So if we keep going, we'll lose more. Guess it really is Castle Oblivion. So That's ominous. Riku and Kairi too. Do you want to go back? Don't worry, fellers. We might forget hey, about buddy. where we've been or what things we've seen, but we won't forget who our friends are. Come on, Sora. Sand. When you turned into a heartless, did you forget about me and Donald? Of course I didn't. There you go. No matter what happens, you won't forget your friends. <sighs> yeah, I don't know about this whole quest thing. You're right. But I guess all we can do is press on and see what happens. Try to uncover the secret of Castle Oblivion. Alright guys, alright. But when I turned into a Heartless, who was the one who took forever to notice and kept clobbering me? How come you didn't forget about that? <laughs> oh, the sass. The unmitigated sass. That's an angry duck. Alright. On to the next level, I guess. We'll drop a hot, fresh save here. Get that going. Now. Oh. There's no way we could ever forget our friends. If you're still remembering the silly stuff, we'll be okay. I'm sure everything will be fine. All right, what's what's up next? Okay, so we got a choice here of again. We already did Agrabah. We got the Olympus Coliseum, Wonderland, Monstro, and Halloween Town. Uh, let's go for the Coliseum. Sure. Seems like a good time. I don't know if there's like a recommended order for this or anything, but we'll uh, we'll just kind of see how we do. I'm sure the levels and everything scale as we go up anyway, so probably doesn't make a big difference. Ah yes, here we are again. Had some good times in this Coliseum. Look, an announcement. Survival Cup. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. It's for some sort of contest. They're calling it the Olympus Coliseum Survival Cup. I always... Is that how to spell Coliseum? I feel... I always forget how to spell Coliseum. I feel like it's always different whenever I look at it. I'm probably just crazy. Contenders have to run an obstacle course of battling each other along the way. And listen to this. The great hero Hercules will also compete for the cup. I wonder if we're going to run into Cloud in here again. It says he's never been beaten. Sounds like fun. Why don't we enter too? I thought you'd say that. Whenever there's a contest, you're raring to join up. You're going to compete even if we don't, right? Come on, guys. Uh-huh. Guess we'd better tag along then. Tag along then, yes. Hold it everyone, there's more! Only contenders who finish the preliminary course may enter the main competition. Says the preliminary course is just ahead. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go already! Yes, let's get into this. Let's do some fighting. We're gonna be fighting. Oh, oh there's Hades. Can I get James Woods back for this one? 
Hercules is a model of true strength and gallantry. The perfect hero? Mmm, that makes me angry. Oh, he's perfect, all right. Perfectly infuriating. Just thinking about that little sunspot makes me boil. Whew, I'd like to drag him into the underworld. Which is why you hired me. Okay, is this gonna be Cloud? Yep, there he is. I recognize those boots. That's right, you're my man. Cloud, is it? Hey, Cage Foreteller. Hercules, more like Jerkules. Ha! Bloody got him, mate. Good on ya. That's right, you're my man. Cloud, is it? Your job is to beat Hercules in the games. And once you've got him cornered, finish the job. Do that for me, and... You restore my lost memories as we agreed. You have my word. The games! Alright. Card of Beginnings. Baller. All right, let's... Ooh, is this smashable? Nope. I wanted to try and smash the pillar, but I went right for the Heartless. It's all well and good. Ah! Monkeys! Monkeys! All right. Enough... Oh, jeez. Enough monkeying around. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, so what do I want? More health, more CP. Don't really care that much about slights, if I'm honest. Though I'm probably gonna start using them more. I don't know. I think it was the 185. Uh, I'll do slights. Uh, three attack cards of the same type. Total value is 20 to 23. Okay. Boop! Oh yeah, I want to see if I can smash that, uh, that pillar, if that does anything for me. You get slates when you can, then alternate HP and CP. Yeah. 
think I upgraded my HP a couple of times. Kind of just taking it one thing at a time, like whatever I feel like at any given moment. I've officially labeled this a casual playthrough for a reason. Like I'm not, I'm not worried about being perfect at this. As long as I can eke my way through, then it's fine. Ugh. The big thing I'm trying to key into with the gameplay is when it's best to uh, to just give them a whack. And oh, I can't smack these. Yeah, when it's best to just start smacking and when it's best to uh, uh, to stack up my cards. But I guess it's just when they're doing a card break. But I do have that thing that prevents them from card breaking me for a couple of uh, uh, smacks. So obviously I don't need to, uh, to stack right away anyway. Oh, jeez, I missed. There we go. Teeming darkness. All right. Uh, is this gonna do anything for me? Just destroying this ancient architecture for no reason, I guess. Yeah, it lets me like climb up, but seemingly for no reason. Oh, can it? Something happen if I do all of them? I wonder. Boop this guy real quick, and we'll move on. Oh boy, okay. There we go. Right, I got, really gotta hit these guys from behind, don't I? Get around behind them. Ah! It should do some damage. Cards back. There we go. Dang, you're still alive. There we go. Okay, next room. What do we got here? Card with a number one or higher or zero. So we can do Tranquil Darkness. Da -da -da. Black room. Black fungi. Don't know what those are, but let's find out. Got a one card of those. There you are. There's the black fungi. They seem like fun guys. Ah. Oh, they can do that. That's right. Oh god. I did I make a mistake? This is a bad idea. This might have been a bad idea. I'll wait for you to not be that anymore. Oh, that worked anyway. Let's do this. Wait, I thought I had some cards queued up already. Dang it. You're gonna stop being that now? There we go. There we go.
Okay, hang on here. There we go. That did it. Okay. Alright, so screw those guys. I don't want to do too much more of that. What do I need here? I need that one, which I don't have. Or I should be heading. Hang on. The one I do have is the key-shaped one. The key of beginnings. Where do I need to take that? Uh... Probably here, because that's glowing. Alright, so that means I gotta go north from here, and then that way. So, nope, don't really want to fight you guys. You guys are BS. You're not fun. Uh, number two or higher, or zero. So what do we got here? Bop, bop, uh, one of these. Room where Heartless with weak cards appear. Oh, let's go in here and smack the crap out of them. That sounds good. That sounds like fun. I'm down with that. Screw these guys. Hey, buddy. You want to get smacked around a bit? Ah, jeez. Okay, hang on. These guys have weak cards, so I'm not as worried about them breaking me, so I can just kind of, like, whap, whap, whap. That's the way I want to do it. Just whap away. Oh, God. Speak, uh, th speaking of which, you're kind of whapping away at me here, so let me uh, do that. Get some Donald action. Hey, Tony. How's it going? Hope you're having a good day thus far. Simba! Sleeping darkness. Let's see, smash these pats. Uh, let's see. I'll give you a whap. Why not? Smack. Smack the dap dap. Monkey. I like the monkeys with the red bow. They're really cute. I like them. Adorable. There we go. Now for the big boy. Come here, big boy. Oh, you know what? Let's unload on this. Ow! The big belly boy. Come here. Oh, you guys are adorable. Marshall Waking. Okay. Ooh, I can smash a statue. Ooh, that lets me get up there. Boop. Boop, this guy. This game is pretty fun. The, the combat system is a little bit complicated, but I kind of dig it. I'm not overwhelmed by it yet. I'll put it that way. And I can definitely see how you'd be able to, like, come up with a ton of different strategies based on what cards you like using. Like, I'm kind of going with a, a lot of straight-up you know, just whacking them around with kind of basic attack cards, but I also really like Simba as a way to, like, uh, uh for, like, later in the day. This has the most unique combat style? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's really neat, because it's a card game, but, yeah, re real-time card combat. Uh, let's give you a smack. I feel like I'm probably going to be a, kind of brute forcing it a little bit, because ultimately what I want to do is... Uh, right, let me do this. Let me gear up for this guy. Yeah, ultimately what I, wa what I want to do is get these, like, attack cards in my deck. Like, replace them all with, like, ones of higher value. Just, like, really basic crap. <laughs> Come forth, blue eyes, white dragon! That's not how that works. Could be how that works. 
We do have summons. We absolutely summon people. I, I greatly enjoy the uh, uh, the Simba summon. I like him. Yeah. Oh, can I? Give me this. And yeah. Right. Uh. Oh, hang on. What do I need for this one here? Okay, I need like a treasure room card or something. It's more Uno than Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, that's true. The, yeah, because the the thing is, the card system itself, like the card game aspect of it, is really not complicated. It's really simple in, in a lot of ways. It's the fact that it's the card system plus real-time combat that uh, that really gives this its depth. Because you really need to think on the fly. And I don't mean as a, that as a slight either, because I, if this was, if the card combat was more complicated than it was, then it would be way too hard to uh, do it in real time. So, it being the way that it is is probably for the best. Get some Donald action going here. Also, Donald is more useful in this game than he was in the last one. People don't like it because it's not completely action-based. Oh yeah, I mean I can see that. Like I'm, I'm, I've got my uh, like I wouldn't want every game in the series to be like this because I do like the more straightforward, like just action-based. Oh god. Hang on. I do like the more straightforward, just kind of action-based combat, but uh, um. This is a nice, like, divert, like, as, as a side game, something to do in between, like, one and two. Yeah, this is great. <coughs> okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go HP. Alright, cool. So I can't open this one, because I don't have one of those cards. Hey, Nanners, how's it going? Hope you're having a good Saturday thus far. Let's go through here. Let's see. What other different kinds of door cards do I have here? Martial wi- <laughs> I misread that as Martial Whacking for a second there. Attack cards are most effective. Okay, so these are like... Yeah, the cards that spawn- uh, this, These rooms will spawn different kinds of Heartless. This is the um, magic cards are more effective. Yeah, these are rooms where I get bonuses. And these are other kinds of rooms. Let me see. Number three or higher or zero. See, I'm curious about the Moogle shop, but I don't know if I should do it yet. I might wait. Uh, let's see here. Well, for now, let me see. Do I have any of these that are a three? Magic cards more effective. I don't use a lot of magic. So I might as well do this now. <laughs> it needs more uwu. Let's see, uh, yeah, let's just do this, whatever. <clears throat> I'm not at the point yet where I feel like I need to be strategizing what rooms I'm creating too closely. Unless I'm in, like, when I get to, like, a tougher section, I need to worry about, uh, uh, like, making, like, save rooms and whatnot. At some point, I'm gonna make, like, a Moogle room and check that out, but... I only have one of those cards, so I feel like it might be best to wait on that one until I have, like, more money. Okay. Dang it. There we go. That worked. Some left? Okay, no, I thought I got everyone there. Meeting ground. Yeah. Alright, give me this. And skid off. Welcome back. Oh, what's going on? Oh god, I'm confuzzled. One of them confuzzled me. I hate it when that happens. Oh, I'm still confuzzled in the battle. No, no, I don't like that. Don't like no, I not try not I don't even want to escape. I just wanna I want to fight. Okay. Who's who wants a piece of this? Go. Hmm. 
Hmm. So maybe what I'll do is more of a... What are you doing here? Ah. Stop that. There we go. So maybe what I'll probably consider is more of a, kind of a baseline strategy is, uh... For just like these random grunts, I mean. Is, uh... For my first batch of cards, like, for that, I'll probably just do more of the, uh... Uh, more of the random flailing. Then after I need to reload my cards the first time, if I get to that point in those battles, then it'll be like, okay, let's let's stack these up and like finish this off. Okay, so I don't have that one yet. All right, so where am I headed now? Can't go there. Can't go there. I need to go this way. One for bosses and one for grunts. That's a good call. I haven't gotten to the point where I've built a second deck yet. I've mostly just been working on the first one. And obviously my first one is kind of more tailored towards grunts at this point. But that is that is something I thought of. Like, Because you can make, I think, three? No, you can make a ton of decks in it. Is it three or is it a ton? I can't remember. Either way, you can. I can have more than one. So I probably will make a second one at some point. Once I get the idea. You can have three? Okay, that's what I thought. I had I had the image in my mind of like something out of ninety nine. I think I was thinking of the number of cards you can have in a specific deck. But yeah, it'll probably it'll probably be useful to have like a boss deck because that's where I'll have more spells and stuff. All right, Simba. The Helios. Friends that I got from that round. Oof, that Goofy was no good. This one's probably better. There we go. There we go. And now we'll stack these up. There we go. Yeah, and I guess the thing with that too is that, uh, or with these, uh, like with the Grunt deck, is that I can kind of stack the cards in an order so that I, they can pull off slights. Seems like the thing to do. There we go. Okay, so. That door's not open. Where am I going? Uh, okay, so that one I can't open, so let's go this way. I can farm roulette. I can farm room cards from roulette rooms. Interesting. That was a red one, right? Yeah. Uh, number four or higher or zero. All right. Well, you know, just because you mentioned it, let's do that. Let's do. Let's do a th let's throw a five in that one. Throw in a fiver. Give that a shot. Hello. Oh boy. Gosh. I feel like I'm still getting my cards broken. Um, even though I've got like a card in my deck that's supposed to prevent that. It only works for so many, so I don't know if it's just running out qu quicker than I think. I don't know. Might take it out and replace it with something else, because it is, like, taking up a lot of uh, points to use. Oh, God. What happened? Oh, hang on. I have to choose said card. I'll have to figure that out, then. Got you. Moments Reprieve. Uh, this is on PS4. Uh, let's see here. Review decks. Uh, edit deck. Yeah, this is the one I'm talking about. Oops, I didn't mean to take it out.
Okay, so if I press the block button, I'll use that? I'll just, let me get into a battle and try that. And which button is the block button on this one? Oh, black, <laughs> black button. Wait. Which button is the black button? I have several black buttons. Or is, pro is that the, uh... This one. Ah ha 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 ha! I figured it out. Okay, okay. I thought those were passives. I'm an idiot! Okay, and then it shows how many it works for. I gotcha. The touchpad, yes. That's the one. I understand. All is clear to me now. I still have this one. Come, Simba. Skidoosh. Love that area of effect attack. Yeah, that symbol one definitely great for the crowds. All right, so boop, boop. Nope. Kind of wish I could start to reload. Ooh. Destiny, thank you so much for that resub. Just wanted to pop in for view. I'm having a good day. Thank you for popping in, and thank you very much for that resub, Destiny. That's very much appreciated. Let's get some love and hype in the chat for Destiny. Destiny is an awesome person. Oop, I forgot that I needed to reload that. Yeah, I was saying, I kind of wish I could reload my uh, my deck while Goofy is running around, but I, I get that you, you can't have, like, two cards active at the same time. And, like, I guess reloading counts as that kind of action. Ooh, card roulette. Uh, oh, it's a map card roulette. Okay, I got you. Makes sense to me. Okay, so that's what I get from the roulette room. I understand now. Let me see. So knowing that, that kind of changes things a little bit. So what does this guy do again? Slightly extends the range of attack cards. Okay. So I don't know if you're really worth 30 CP for me in that case. I might take you out. And then I've got some CP to play with. Don't take... Alright, whatever. Quickly reloads magic cards. I don't think I have enough in my deck to make that worth it. Genie casts Thundara Grav... Ooh, he's a 7 level card too. How much does that cost? 32. Do I have enough points? Yeah, I can put Genie in there. That's pretty good. Level 7. Oh, I've got this now, too. This must be a new one I got. How much does that cost? 21. Huh. Might want to stick that in there. Yeah, Genie seems good. I definitely like Simba. Simba's not going anywhere. And I'd like to get, like, a higher level version of it at some point, perhaps, but we'll see. Uh, let me see. So I've got 5 points. This one takes 21. It's a level 7. Oop, shoot. Hang on, was that enough? No, it's not. Yes, it was! Alright, so get that in there. And, oh, I've got, a, like, a... I've collected a bunch of cards. Oh, hang on. There we go. Get rid of the flashing cards? What do you mean? Like this one here? This is like shiny boy? Let's see, so... Oh, I see. Oh, okay, yeah, when I went over there, I gotcha. Why am I getting rid of the shiny boy?
Premium cards are not good at all. Okay. What do I have? I do have that there. That's a level two. That one's a three, though. All right. Take your word for it. Do some extra points now. Yeah, that's the shiny boy. Level two, level two. Sure, we'll just throw that guy in there. Whatever. Oh, no, that puts me over the edge. I can't do that. 11 points. 10. I'm going to stick that in there. Sure, why not? Oh, they can't be reloaded. Oh, I didn't know that. Cool. Thank you for letting me know. I feel like the game... Because I think I upgraded a card to premium at one point. I was like, hey, that seems good. Yay, premium sounds like probably stronger now or something. They don't get, they don't get reloaded? That's kind of lame. Okie dokie. Uh, this is probably good then. I've got Genie. I've got this guy. Jaffa Genie. I've got two Genies. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, let's see. Hang on. I want to put my heal. Ooh, I've got a level 6 heal. Can I put that there? And then Genie. Still have enough room for that. Yes, I want him in that order. What, what you doing, bud? They're stronger and cheaper, but the drawback is you can't reload them. Okay. Makes sense. Alright, well, we'll roll with this for now. This is still pretty good for taking on random jobbers. I think Genie is going to do well for me now that I know how to actually activate Jafar. He might actually be useful. go. Nothing doing. What's up, buddy? Coming up to say hello to everybody? You're a good boy. Alright, where are we headed? Let's take care of that big boy and then uh, I'm assuming that's the door I can go through. Please don't step on my keyboard or anything. Can I get behind you? Nope. Couldn't, couldn't make it happen. Oh, damn. Oh, no, it did get activated. Okay. Yeah, those black cards can't get blocked, it looks like. Zane, what are you doing? Okay, he's just chilling. He's fine. Okay. Careful. Damn. Okay. Here comes the genie. Ow. He did his big old butt slam thing. go got him nice okay it's all coming together damn it I'm trying to get a moogle another moogle room okay uh big boy big boy hello two big boys oh gosh Ah. God. Okay. Ah. 
guys are annoying because you have to, like, get behind them regardless of, uh, how you roll. There we go. That, that one got him. Okay. Uh, door. What's behind door number 735? Okay, so I need a card with a number 5 or higher. So let's go... Got a 5 one of these. Boop. Uh, let's see. Number 7 or higher. And boop. And I need the key, which I've got. Huh? Where'd you come from? Don't tell me you guys finished the prelims. We sure did, and now we want to go for the cup. Well, you came to the right place. Not that you stand a chance against Herc. Why not? Two words. You ain't heroes. You're wrong. Yeah, he said three words. Huh. Exactly, but that's not the point. How can we prove we're heroes unless you give us the chance? You guys ador are adorable in the chat. I love it. Here comes Hercules. He's right, Phil. They cleared the prelims. I think they deserve a shot. <laughs> you got a point there, Herc. But still. But nothing. Of course. We could always cancel the games. Cancel them? What for? Old Phil's prelim course was so hard no one else could finish it. Yeah, we saved the world, for God's sake. Oh, memory stuff. This is all like in our noggin or some crap. Weird stuff is going on. Is that right? Well, if you let us compete, you won't have to cancel the games. How about it, Phil? This is the excuse for why it's only, only going to be one fight at the end as opposed to like a series. Maybe two. It's pro probably, we're probably going to have to fight Herc and then Cloud, or maybe the other way around. Okay, you got me over a barrel, so fine. That's an image I didn't need. So here's how it works, kid. It's Sora, not Kid. Sure, sure, kid. Since your team and Hercules are the only contenders... No, they're not. It's Cloud Strife. The games have a new challenger. Name's Cloud. The more the merrier. Now the games will be something. Now the games will really be something to see. I'm looking forward to this. Don't expect me to pull any punches. We gotta remember to throw barrels at Hercules. It's probably not gonna be the same thing. Hey, as long as you don't expect me to take them, let's give it our best. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's get this show going. But first I got- Oh, I think this is Phil typing. Let's get the show going. But first I gotta explain a few rules. Cloud was my conformist name. My real name is Hidden Lotus Flower. Rule one. First one through the obstacle course wins. In the event of a tie, a battle will determine the winner. Rule number three. You can interfere with your opponents on the course. Oh, it's a rule that you can interfere. Oh, great. Fantastic. And finally, rule number four. Any challengers that have to give it any challengers have to give it everything they got. Give it all you got. Whew, on your marks. Get set. Go now 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 now. Okay. We so let's see here. I'm guessing we can go through this one now, maybe? Or is this the treasure door? That was the treasury one. Okay, so we got the... Uh, eh. So we can head to this one now, I believe. Yes, because this is always the ending one up there with, like, uh, Ansem's mark on it. Right, so we'll head back down south, which is this way. And then we can go through this one here. Okay, so we need a green card. Any green card will do, I suppose. So what's the cheapest one we have? Let's just use the level one of these. And then one of these. Sweet. 
Sweet. Okay, it looks like we're fighting Cloud first. Gorsh, that was nice of him to wait for us to catch up. He's not waiting. Remember rule number three? You can interfere with your opponents on the course. He's looking to narrow the field. You get the idea this obstacle course is going to be functionally equivalent to fighting. You can put that away. I'm not looking for a fight with you, so keep moving. Huh? Oh, okay. Gorsh. See? He was waiting for us to catch up. Well, we've caught up. Let's take him on let's take him up on his offer and keep going. I don't see a downside. My big goofy shoes. Ending world is mean for the red room cards. Oh boy. I'm I'm excited. Listen, are you sure? I'm not here for the cup, just Hercules. Today he loses more than the competition. You don't mean, but why? This is business. Stay out of it. Go in your cup. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do you realize what you're doing? Uh, looks like I'm going to fight a guy with a big f -off berserk sword. Rule number three. You can interfere with your opponents, right? You're not the only one who wants to fight Hercules. A room with like 99 red and 99 blue rooms. 99 red room cards. Couldn't quite get the, get the cadence on that one. Hmm. Big mistake. Alright. Time to fight Big Sword Boy. Yeah. Alright. And, oh. oh boy. There we go. you can do. Go. Oh, jeez. We got him. Oh, crap. Oh, gee. Oh, God. He, he's doing the stacking thing. Not gonna lie. Didn't expect... <laughs> didn't expect the enemy to start employing tactics like that, but okay. We'll have to, uh... Figure that out. Want to fight Herc, but only Cloud is bound by contract. Yes. All right. Fair enough. Sam, what are you doing right now? Now, how far back am I? Uh, just outside that room? Okay, perfect. That's fine, then. I don't mind that. Uh, let's try it again. Yeah, Xantus is kind of, uh, walking around here. Just hope he doesn't freaking hit the PlayStation or anything, because he's jumping up where he's not supposed to be. I see little kitty paws in between my cables. What are you doing, bug? What are you doing, bruh? Bruh. Bruh. No, come on. Xant, get out. Get out of there. Get out of there. Come on, buddy. Get, 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 keep moving. Keep moving. When I slap your butt, that means keep moving. There you go. Little butthead. Okie dokie. Uh, yes. And if this doesn't go well this time, then I'll go grind out another level. But it's one guy, so if we pay attention to him, then we should be alright. First thing I'll do is activate this. Get some damage on him. I feel like if I'm careful, I should be able to dodge most of this stuff anyway. Ow. 
Dang it. Oh, damn it. Zant, how many... I just told you not to get up there, dude. Get down. Get down. Get down. Dude. Listen to me. Thank you. Here you go. Ugh, oh, freaking cats, man. Get him! Get him while he's reloading. Oh god, he's got heal curves, doesn't he? Oh, this is gonna be... Oh boy. Damn, oh wow, he tracked in really good with that one. Damn it. All right. Well, that didn't go well. I think I can get that guy eventually, but I am going to grind out another level just for the sake of it. Let me smash some stuff. Give me this. Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to go through there. Eh, whatever. Feeble darkness? Ah, eh, this is probably a better place to be anyway. If there's any more heartless in here. Butch Hartman isn't really a good person. Isn't that like the Danny Phantom fairly odd parents guy? I don't know what he's been up to. Hey, yeah, there's no more enemies in here, so that's not good. Uh, I guess we'll just look for some more enemies then. Boop. There we go. Damn it. Is there a way to switch targets in this game? Damn it. Crap, I didn't... Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Ah, dang it. My bad. Eh, it doesn't matter. It's only, like, one left. Yeah, I was gonna say, these guys are actually not that bad because I can just stack my cards and then wait for an opportunity to use them. Yeah, see, that's not the... These guys aren't that bad. They're annoying if you just want to button mash them. But, yeah, you just stack your cards and wait for your opportunity with them. That, that seems to work. Is a scumbag? Oh, that's unfortunate. I hate hearing stuff like that about people. Oh, hang on, I can smack this guy, though. Ah, card broke me already. Might as well use this. Gotcha. This. Cool. Got you. There we go. Okay, yeah, these guys are not bad. Just got to, kind of had to figure out how to do them. And this, those are all about waiting for your opportunity, I suppose. What's going on here? Anything? Is that just a design? Looks like a design. All right, cool. Back here. That's back to the start, right? Yeah. Now, 
now. Any more enemies to be dealt with here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, here you go. I suppose if all else fails, I, I need to grind. I can always, like, go back to a previous area and, like, reload the rooms in there kind of thing. Oosh. Smash these up. Yeah, so if I, like, go back to the previous area, I'll have to, uh, I'll have to do parts of this one again, I believe. I'll have to, like, reload, like, new rooms in there or something. But I won't need to do, like, the, uh, the main story rooms again, is my understanding. Eh, let's just go back and get another level. Go back to Agrabah. There we go. Or is this one already laid out? No, okay, this is new. Okay, so I can reopen, like, new rooms now and go this way. I don't know if I'll actually need to do, uh... Load new rooms in Olympus Coliseum, but I think I will. But it's not a big deal either way. Uh, number one or higher. Okay, so... Da, da, da. Only a few heartless. Many heartless. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do a level four. Moogle room? Oh, I'll do a Moogle... Actually, yeah, I'll do a Moogle room after this. I should do that, because I do have a Moogle card. But I will have, I will have plenty of opportunities now. I've not yet spawned a Moogle room, and I'm curious about that. Dang it. Alright, well. There we go. Aladdin's cards get me more Moogle points. Oh, interesting. Hey, look, I got a new Moogle room now. It's only a level 2 one. That's kind of perfect. So I'll use that uh, in a minute here. Dang it. There we go. Dang it. God, let me get up this guy's butt. There we go. Got him. Big boys are a bit of a pain. That's adorable. Oops, uh, I don't want that selected. I want Aladdin. Thank you very much, Destiny. Alright, smack this guy around. 
I'm gonna fur away I am from another level. I think I just got another level. There we go. Damn it. Oh, dang. Perfect. Yes, I think someone mentioned it earlier, but uh, Goofy is totally the Captain America of this game. Aladdin. Just comes out and does the seal shield splash. All we need is a charging star and we're good to go. Aladdin. Okay, beautiful. So, I think I'm going to go for an HP boost. go. Now, Moogle Room. Let's try that. Number five or higher. Oh, I need a level five for this one. Well, in that case, I do have a level seven one I can use. Sure, why not? Why the heck not? Here we go. Talk to the Moogle. The Moogle Shop is a Moogle establishment where you can trade in cards. Exchange cards you don't need anymore for Moogle points. Save up enough points, you can trade them for a new card pack. You can get a free card pack the first time you visit the Moogle Shop. Card pack, hooray! Nice, five new cards. Ooh, it's a couple of good ones in there, a couple of sixes. Buy some card packs. Yeah, how much is a card pack? Let me see here. These are all 200 points. Oh, wait, no, those are the blue ones. I want the red ones, right? I think. Let me see here. Yeah, because all my basic bitch cards are the red ones. Alright, and they're not as expensive as I kind of thought they were going to be. Alright. So let's go. Oh, these are only 100 points for the red ones. Let's freaking go, dude. Dude Magoog. Ah, cheapo. Ah, some decent one. Okay, so I can only buy so many per room anyway. So yeah, give me all these freaking red ones, and then we'll see where we're good. <laughs> Card pack is 99 cents. Perfectly reasonable. These are not bad. And yeah, got a six in there. That's a six one is the okay. The shiny ones are the premium ones, right? Yeah. Hmm. All right. I'm not hurting on points anyway. All right. So now, oops. You decks at a deck. So now. So these are the premium ones because they're sh they're the shiny bops. These are the regular ass ones. So I've got a level six in there. So let me see. All right, hang on. I'm going to like take out some stuff. I'm going to put some of this back in. Don't you worry. Actually, because what do I want back in there? I want Simba for. Oh, hang on. I want this. I want Simba in there. And I want my Healy. And now I want to replace... Actually, I've got a... How much do these cost anyway? 35, 30, so that's 65. And then 42, so that's 107. Wait, what? Yes, that's right. Okay, so I've got so 107 there. So those, I want those to be at the end of my thing anyway. 
And I can put the sixer in. Oh, that's six. Oh, no, 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 no. Hang on, hang on. That, that's a premium one. Xant, you're up in the exact spot where I told you not to be again. You don't listen, do you? Hey, dude, what do you- No, come on. Xant! Hey, no, don't- I didn't say sit down, I said get down. Get- get down. Get down, you're gonna mess with my stuff again. Get down! Dude! Oh my god. Xant, listen. Hang on a sec, guys, sorry. Get out of there! Get out! Too much stuff going on! No! No! I said no! You don't want to listen, do ya? You little troublemaker. All right, fine. He doesn't want to get down. It's my fault. I put my PlayStation next to one of the spots where the cats like to perch. So, of course, he's trying to, like, get up next to it. I don't want him to mess with anything, though. I'm just going to keep poking him until he gets down. You can just get down, you know. You can just move. You can get up and not be there. <laughs> he's not happy about it. No, he's going to meow. There we go. Oh, he got up. I finally annoyed him enough. Come on. Keep going. Get down. Get down. Zan. Get it. No, what are you doing? You cannot get there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my damn cat. No. The way you are is not good. Jump down. There you go. Freaking beef head. Swear to God. Ugh. Totally need to change that area and not have it set up like that. I'll just give in and put a cat bed there or something. Zant is na the name of my black cat. He is normally a good boy, but he's currently being a pain in my tuckus. Aren't you, you little butthead? Oh boy. I love him, but I swear to God. He drives me to drink. All right, what am I doing? I'm throwing these sixers in here. All right, and uh, what else do I got here? Let me see, let me take out these twos. Throw in these four, right, I've got a four there, a bop. All right, I want this in there. I want my Simba. I want my Amazing. heal, my level six heal. Oh, Anova, thank you for that follow, much appreciated. Yeah, he won't listen, he is, he is indeed the most villainous of villains. All right, so I've got some points left. Stop sending me some breaking attack cards you use. Now that one is uh, 65. Actually, let me... Mm. Is he good? I think he's good. Realize that you didn't follow. Well, thank you very much for the follow. That's much appreciated. Uh, stops enemies from breaking attack cards you use. Yeah, I'll put him back in. I'm over my limit now, so I'll take out like one of these threes. Actually, yeah, that's perfect. I can take that out, and then we're good to go. Pretty basic, but we'll run with that for now. Okay, yes, and then if I want, okay, so going forward, if I want to upgrade um, my numbers, then I'll kind of have to uh, either take stuff out or, like, upgrade my total number of CP. Spend way too much time playing it. Well, don't judge me too harshly when I play it really badly. All right, uh, I'm still in this teeming darkness room. You know what, let's, uh, let's get another fight going down in here. Then we'll, we'll clear this room, or we'll get another level, whatever happens first, and then we'll take another swing at Cloud. <laughs> You're in charge, and you say it's PP. Alright, I'm, I'm willing to go with that. We'll call it PP. I'm fully willing to do that. I'm a big fan of PP from time to time. Oh boy. Start to wear out your L and R buttons. There's no wrong way to play this game. See, you've got the good, uh, you've got the good attitude, Anova. 
So far, no one has come in to, like, judge me too harshly, and I'm appreciating that immensely. So. I mean, I guess the wrong way to play the game is the one where you keep losing, but I'm making progress, so there's something. Right, so let's reload. Gosh dang. There we go. Cool. Roulette room. You'll love to see it. Right, let's smash up to some of this stuff. I hope you're having a very wonderful Saturday today, Inova. It's always good to have you around. Oh, you did the Game Boy Advance version. Nice. Just gonna check the two differences between the systems plus an update. Yeah. I don't, don't know if, um, how different the Game Boy Advance version was. I assumed that the combat was mostly similar. Just, you know, less three-dimensional, I guess. Or equally three-dimensional, just sprite-based. I don't know. I'll have to look up, like, some detailed videos of the, uh, Game Boy Advance version after I'm, uh, after I beat it just to see what, uh, what the dealio is. Okay, well, how about a bit of this? There we go. There we go. Very less 3D was fixed camera. That sounds about right. I feel like I've seen like some gameplay or at least screenshots of it. It's probably it's, I guarantee it's like a isometric view kind of thing. Top down 2D. Okay. Okay, so more enemies. Yeah, there's another one. Smash this up. Ah. Battles, it was 2.5D side scrolling. Oh, interesting. Side scrolling, huh? Yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense. As opposed to the more, like, just closed off battle arena section to, uh, like, this got going on. Alright, we got a big boy. Alright, oh my god, look at the jiggly belly on him. Okay. This is only one dude, that's fine. Oh, he guarding my stuff. There we go. Nice. Yeah, that's the annoying thing about the big boys, is that even if you're even if they can't break your card, you still need to hit them from behind. Ah, dang it, he turned around. Oh god, there's more. Oh god, oh god, oh god. There we go. Damn it! God, see, I had my freaking stack ready to go, and he turned around, so I didn't hit him in the back. Annoying. That's why I don't like the big boys so much. Damn it. Eh. God, see? I'm just trying to get behind. There we go. It's like waiting too long to do it. Gotcha. There we go. Whew. Hey, another Moogle room. Nice.
Didn't realize that my health didn't recover between battles. I thought it did. I feel like I just never noticed that before. I was locked onto the big boy. I didn't notice. Take care of these guys now. Eh, not fully, though. Gosh. Hey, Vendo. How's it going? Man, these guys are... Being a pain in my tuchus. There we go. Got him. Whew. Yeah, I never noticed that my health didn't come back after a battle, and that's annoying me now. Yuck. Exhausted? Ah. Uh, I hope you're in a position where you can finally relax then. It is the weekend after all. Time for everyone to kick their feet up. At least I hope so. Just vibing in the AC now? Nice. Good stuff. You'll love to see it. I, think, uh, I didn't get a chance to check it out, but I saw they got like a bug off or something going on today. Like bug catching competitions? Fire! Alright, cool. What's this one? Oh yeah, that's one of those treasure room things. like a week behind. Oh. <laughs> Time travelers! Go. Oh, damn. Well, this still works. Oh, damn it. Oh, boy. Don't like big boys. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? Here, have some Aladdin. Hey, King. Oh, you're not getting your switch? Oh, that sucks. Damn it, this freaking dude. Get him. Moogle room, nice. I hope we're having a good day aside from that, King. At least you got something to look forward to. All right, all right. I'm like beeping like crazy here. All right, let's uh head on back then. So this way, no, I don't want to do any more fights while I'm beat up. Come on, get after me. Let's go give Cloud a piece of our mind. Hopefully, we'll see how it goes. I heal at one of these, right? Yes, okay, good. Let's do a hot, fresh save in that case. Thank you. All right, sweet. Smash this on the way to, cause why not? Get some good smashing going. Home alone the entire day has been really nice. Ah, nice. Gotta soak it in. Enjoy that weekend while it lasts. All right. So do we need to like relay rooms in here again, or are we good to go? Yeah, I need to open the rooms again. I mean, that's fine. That just gives me more chances for experience or whatever.
go. As we change shooting me, not bad actually. The combat is uh, taking some getting used to, but I think I'm I'm getting it enough. We'll, we'll see how it goes now. We lost a cloud twice, so I went to get another another level up so we can uh, try it again. And now we have done that. All right, so number one or higher or zero. Well, let, let's do another Moogle room in that case. I've got a two. Thank you for entering, Nanners. We have some people that are getting in on that. Oh, yes. Is that how I do that? Yes. There we go. Cool. Murbles. Yes. you love to see it. Okay, so let me... Card pack. Yes. Okay, so every time I use one of those, I instantly get a card pack anyway. Okay, so... Get some of these. Oh, the, the play thing? Uh, it is a, uh, uh, if you put exclamation point play into the chat, you will enter the marbles game that we are going to run in about 23 minutes. We're going to drop some marbles, and whoever wins is going to win 1 million bells in Animal Crossing. And even if you don't play Animal Crossing, you're still allowed to enter, because if you win, then I'll just give you the code in, like, the, uh, in a whisper. And, uh, yeah, if you don't play yourself, then you're more than free to give it to someone else. I'm gonna try some of these. Can I get like a better heal? I feel like, ooh. Reloadable, okay. Yeah, I, I used one of those in my thing already. Hmm. Now the heal card is a green one, right? Totally is. Unless it's a blue one and I'm dumb. I just wasted time. No, the heal one's a blue. Gosh dang it. I'm a silly boy. It's alright because I got some more of, of these anyway. I don't know if I'm going to use those as much. Three. Those are pretty good though. This level is the one I got. Level five. Hmm. Not stronger than that though. Alright. Let me buy some blue ones then. Those are more expensive. Hmm. <laughs> you forgot what person you were in. Ah, I feel you. Alright, so. Just really quick here. So yes, I've maxed out my points already. Which means I can't really upgrade anything. <laughs> completionist side wanted to collect them all and make them all shiny. See, I used to be more of a completionist in my youth, but I've kind of like strayed away from that. All right, well, we'll run with this for now. Okay, so the lowest numbered ones I have here is three. I've got like an empty spot there, but I can, hang on, how many? Two, three. Yeah, it's fine anyway. Yeah, I might upgrade my, um, my PP when I get the chance and some more, get some more power there. We'll see how it goes. Okay, uh, three or higher or zero. So let's go. Uh, we'll do this one, number four. Tranquil darkness, only a few heartless appear. So it's not that big of a deal. And skidooshi. Having AC in your apartment after your car's AC being busted, helping a friend load her U-Haul feels real. Oh yeah, no, that's no doubt. It is a, 
I don't know where you guys are, but it is a it is a bit of a warm summer up here. We're, get, we're getting a bit of a summer up here in Canada, and I'm not against it. It's nice nice to have a bit of summer. I feel like a lot of the years lately it uh, kind of hasn't been that. Like we've had a little bit of heat, but it's mostly lasted like a long weekend, and that's, that's about it. And been gone again. He's in. Here to cause trouble again? I know you are. What are you do like? Why are you putting your face directly in front of my screen? What are you What are you doing, bud? Come on, dude. Be a good boy. Lion. Zant Cam. Zant Cam. All right, let, hang on. Let me Let me get him. Is he being a butt? not happy about it, but I got him. Uh, you want to say hello, Zant? Ah! Nope, he doesn't. He wants to go. You gonna, you gonna leave? Oh, where are you going? Alright, you're, you're, he's leaving. Alright, I tried. Britain doesn't have AC. So I've heard. Apparently it's a bad time over there. Yeah, no, he, he's not a huge fan of being picked up. That's why I don't do it very often. Mostly when he just like keeps meowing for attention. Then when I go through, go to him, he doesn't reciprocate. So I'll just pick him up and be like, "Is this what you want?" It? And he'll be like, "Meow," and then he'll jump down. He's a good boy most of the time. Premium room. That sounds nice. All right, where are we going? Oh, yeah. Okay, no, I can't go there. Apparently not. Boosh! Went down by 13 degrees there? Oh, jeez. Where does, like, what's the temperature there now? Like, did it go down, go down to 13 degrees or go down by 13 degrees? I don't know. Up here, I'm just happy if it's in the positive. Hey, buddy. Jump back up on the table again. Because he's a little butt. What are you saying? Are you meow? Do you say meow? Meow. I don't think people can hear you because you're like uh, at the wrong angle there. You kind of need to like talk into this end of the mic for him to hear you. It's, uh, it's not an omnidirectional thing, you know? But he said meow. It's 17 degrees now. Oh, see, that's not so bad. That's pretty good. 30 degrees in Sweden. Oh, my God. I'd be dead. My cake, my pasty Canadian ass would melt in such weather. Zant, do not jump up there. I swear to God. How many times have I told you today? Uh, right. Okay. That's how it's gonna be, huh? Meow, he says. Meow. Yes, we absolutely stand this talk of baby. 31 degrees, good God. I don't know if I could deal. Oop, ah, I need to do this. I find it funny whenever I you know, don't realize that I'm out of courage and I'm still mashing, because then I just go <laughs> I'm like, oh right, I should just hold the button. Alright, uh, this way. Live there your entire life and you still barely deal. Yeah, I don't know if humans were meant to live in that kind of weather. Uh, so let me see. Number five or higher. I have a five Moogle card. I think I'm gonna use a Moogle room. I'm gonna do this. Don't run really Maybe I shouldn't have, because I don't really have a lot of points. Man, don't chew on the HDMI cable. Jesus Christ. Did, 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 did. Yeah, I don't have a lot of points, but it'll give me some free cards anyway. Alright, and... Yeah, I should, uh... 
<laughs> he is he's a spicy boy right now. You have a fan on 24-7, otherwise you wouldn't survive, yeah. There have been a couple of points where I've still needed to turn the fan on now, even though it's not that warm, but, you know, it can get a little toasty just in, in the apartment here. All right. Now, can I sell some stuff and get another 100 points just to make that worth it? Let's sell these... Sh these are the premium ones? You guys said these are useless because they don't reload? Sure. Let's get rid of them. This is a shiny one. Increase the value of all... Ooh, that's a new one. And, oops. Okay, so what I'll probably do is, because I just want to, like, bring up the overall averages of, like, the cards in my deck up higher with the better numbers on, like, my basic attacks. So what I'll probably do is if I have a Moogle card and I have 400 points, that way I can get, like, a fresh set of these like buy them out every time then it's probably worth going in and get them um yeah in order for me to upgrade any further though i would need uh to upgrade my uh my points which i'll probably do when i level up again because that way i can get some stronger cards in there all right, number six or higher or zero. I've got another Moogle Room. I'm not going to use it now, obviously, but I do have another one. I've got a zero, so whenever I have enough points, I can do that. Uh, but for now, okay, so six or higher or zero. Uh, I can do where many Heartless appear. Sure, let's just do that. Why not? See if the fan pointed at you because you like the constant air. I, I've been doing that sometimes lately, too, just having the fan on. It, uh... Like, even just, like, the the noise is nice, too. Just, like, kind of a, a, like a light droning background noise. And also, it just keeps the room from getting too hot. So, you know, kind of doubly effective in that regard. Go. Go. Cool. There we go. Nice. Level up. Ah, sweet. I got another level up. Perfect. Perfect timing. All right. So let me give me more CP. I want that. Uh, da -da. let's see. So, uh, let's see. So I've got another twenty-five points. What was this other black card I've got? Increases the value of all cards by two. Limit two reloads. Oh, okay. Hang on, does these limit 20 attacks? Oh, okay, so... That's pretty good. How many, how many points does that take? 25. The exact number I just got. It's pretty good. That's, that's pretty darn good. I think I'm going to stick that in there. I think I'm going to use that one in this deck. And I've got a slot here. Although I'm just going to go boop. There we go. So now I think this deck is pretty good for the most part. I'm just going to kind of like replace these attack cards with ones of higher value. Like as I level up my CP. I think that's probably the thing to do with this particular deck. Because this is going to be the one that's kind of like crowd control. Because I can keep whacking away, then reload, then whack some more. And then Simba comes out, and Simba does like an area of effect spell. Then I've got my heal, like, ready to go. And, uh, yes, Jafar is pretty good. This seems pretty good. Start putting it on YouTube channels. Oh, yeah, I do that too. Like, sometimes what I'll do is I'll have, like... A YouTube ch channel on like at really low volume and I'll have like the uh, the um, the fan on as well so I'm not like I'll have something on the TV then but it's not like oh, oh my god 
Yes. Just, uh, I hate. I hate confusion in games. Let me smash these freaking statues before anything else. No. There we go. Get away, 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 No. Okay, we're good. I, ha I hate anything that, like, fricks up my controls in games. It drives me up the wall. Hello, Hyper Kirby 58 Welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a good Saturday thus far. Uh, but yeah, like having a, having something on, on the TV that's on low volume so that like the fan basically drowns out any noise that's uh, so I'm not like distracted by it. I'm not like up late watching it. And of course it'll all it'll almost always be something that I've already watched. Um hey, another Kingdom Key, nice. Olympia It's going pretty dang well, thank you for asking. We're uh, going through this old uh, Kingdom Hearts experience for the first time. This is my first time playing the series. For those who are just joining us, I've uh, never played Kingdom Hearts before. We have just beaten the first game uh, the week before last, because you know, we're streaming this week by week. And do this. And uh, there we go. I mean, I've been enjoying it fairly well. So this is my first time playing this one. Getting some Subway, nice. I enjoy Subway. Subway's good. I haven't had any in a long time. The whole uh, the whole quarantine thing has like put me off like fast food and takeout in general lately. So, but uh, if I was gonna get anything, it would probably be Subway. But I don't know when that's gonna happen again. Even though I'm sure it's probably safe. Like I'm actually I'm actually pretty safe in terms of that kind of thing because the location I'm in is at least at the present. Not a high risk area. It's pretty isolated overall. Like I'm not in a major population center or really a major like travel hub or anything like that. So I'm lucky that I don't need to worry about the uh, the pandemic too much. Obviously, I'm still being safe, wearing the mask and whatnot, just in case. Because you never know. A lot of people aren't though, which is kind of frustrating. But whatever. Go to eat fresh, just like they advertise. Yes. Subway, eat fresh. Anyone, ever, anyone else remember the website YTMND that just had like a picture and uh, and some sound going? Remember one of them? It had like John Lovitz. Uh, the the sound was from a Subway commercial with John Lovitz going, "Eat fresh." And of course, the picture I think it was John Lovitz as a zombie, and of course the text said, "Eat flesh." So I had like zombie John Lovitz going, eat fresh, eat fresh, eat fresh. Funny, funny, funny stuff. Yeah, YTMND was dumb, but what do you know? What are you going to do? We enjoyed it back in the day. Uh, definitely a really interesting combat system. I'm enjoying it so far. Took some getting used to, but the, the deeper I get into it, the more I'm kind of feeling it out. So I think it's going well. My thoughts are going to depend on how badly Cloud kicks my butt again when we get to him. Let's see. Good for a heal here. And we'll get some goofy action. Hopefully Goofy will take care of this monkey. Story has also got me pretty intrigued. Because there's some mysteries afoot. What's happening? We don't know. It's probably all in his head or something. We'll see. Uh, where's a door? This room's a dead end. Gosh dang it. Gosh diddly d Oh no, I see. Okay, I gotta go down to the south. Yeah, because I needed to go to that heart room, didn't I? Yeah, that's that's where Cloud is right there. Alright, let's, let's smack these guys around a bit. Where's the... Okay, here you go. Oh, you're gone. Okay, whatever. I do have a YouTube channel. Although, doesn't really have a lot to do with this, um... Uh, well, technically I've got two channels. This is one where I just throw all of the uh, all of the VODs up for this kind of thing. But uh, I also talk about Marvel Comics on YouTube.com slash Mary Marvelate. Which is probably the thing I do best. Where am I going? What am I doing? I'm going south. should be able to go south twice. So that's this way. Wait. No. There, yes, this way. Yeah, I think if you just put exclamation point YouTube in the chat, it should give you a link. 
Oh, okay. I think I know what's messing me up here is that, um, the, uh, the direction the key is pointed on the map is the way I'm facing, not the way the camera is facing. Yeah, there you go. YouTube.com slash Mary Marvelite. Check it out. There's good stuff over there. And I don't say that lately. Normally, I think what I do is crap, but over there is pretty good. I am pretty hyped for that. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm willing to give that a look in. It's, it's, it'll be cool to see Kamala in a, in a starring role, too. I'm all about that. Uh, da -da. Why do you mean he was screenshot of Spaceballs with ludicrous speed? Oh yeah, lu the ludicrous speed. Spaceballs is a freaking treasure. <clears throat> Beginning of Earthbound with the mushrooms. Oh yeah. Do I remember that? I feel like it. I haven't played Earthbound myself. I watched the Beer Bros play it, and that was fun. Maybe that's one I should play myself sometime. I played Earthbound Beginnings, not on stream, but like the uh, the NES one. That was a bit of a grind fest. Uh, let me see here. Numbers three or higher or zero. So what do I got here? Only a few Heartless appear. I don't have a straight three, do I? Oh, yes, I do. Roulette Room. Yeah, sure. Let's do that one then. Why not? Yes, Avengers game looks like a good time. Here we go. Okay. Yes, we already saw this. We just need to fight Cloud again. Okay. Feeling a bit better about it this time. This is going to be a lot of figuring out how to dodge him, though. Earthbound is really cool and charming. I do enjoy it. Like, as grindy and as, at times, difficult as the, uh, as the NES one was, um, Earthbound Beginnings or Earthbound Zero, or Mother One, whatever you want to call it. Um, it was genuinely charming in a good time. Okay. Damn it. Oh, God. Just wasting my cards against him. Oh, damn it. Damn it. No, you don't. Wait for him to need to reload. I can really wail on him, too. This might not actually be that bad if I'm able to be defensive enough, but... Oh gosh. Ah, dang it. Ugh. Shoot. Continue. Alright. I wonder if there's enough enemies afoot to, uh... Yeah, that was close. I don't want to, like, reload everything again, but I wonder if there's enough enemies afoot to, like, crank out another level. Actually, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to change something here. Can I... Let me see here. Can I copy the entire deck over? And like, edit a specific deck? Move cards, no. 
I don't think I can copy the deck. Alright, I'm going to make a similar deck. Some slight changes here. I've got a level 9 card here. Stick your keyblade into that soldier! Oh yeah, that, that sounds slightly lewd, but I'm willing to do it. Alright, hang on. Here's what I'm gonna do. I want because I'm this guy was not super useful in that fight, and he's very expensive. So I can take him out, and I can replace some of these lower level cards with some higher ones. Because I have yeah, I've got a 9 there that I don't even have in the deck. I've got a 7 there. Alright, so, oops. Get rid of that 3. Put in this 7. And, oop, damn it, no, this, okay, here we go. Get rid of this 3. Put in this 9. Get rid of this 3. Put in this 6. What have we got? Oh, I've got a nine there. Oh my god, okay. You know what? This is alright. This is yeah, this is how we're doing this right now. Uh, let me see. So I've got seven, six, seven, four. Is four the lowest one? I've got a three here. So get rid of that three. Put in this nine. Get rid of this three. Put in this eight. Okay, I've got so many more points to play with. This is great. Get rid of a four. Put in this eight. So what's nice about shiny cars have lower PP costs. Yeah, they were saying that before, but they don't reload as a thing. So, I don't know. But that is good, though. That makes sense. Get rid of that four, put in a six. All right, so we've got five, we've got another six there. So I can get rid of this four, I can put in this six. One more fours, I've got one more four there, I can get rid of that. I can put in this five. So now five should be the lowest one I have, so let's see, and then there's, yeah the lowest thing I got there. And that actually brings me up to about what my points are. So that's pretty good. I've got a good good upgrade going there. Yeah, so... Boop. Ugh. I kind of feel... Maybe... Hmm. Yeah, because these are all pretty high. I feel like I'm going to want to like have some more like heals kind of dispersed throughout all of this. Or maybe rather than having them dispersed, I'll, like, stack my heals at the end so that I can, like, quickly switch over them if I need to. That's probably a better idea, rather than accidentally using them when I don't need to. If I have them at the end, then I can quickly, like, boop, like, double tap over to a heal and then use it. I don't have enough heals, is the thing. I've only got one. Actually, I've got, well, I've got more, but they're not high level. So they, they would easily be, like, knocked off. Also, they take a lot of points. Hmm. Oh well, well, we'll roll with this for now. I think this is going to be better. Yeah, and of course that, uh, that curb that upgrades the value of everything, that, um, that doesn't last a certain number of hits, that lasts a certain number of reloads, which is good. Which means if I really stack my deck, then I can, uh, can have some good stuff going here. Also, it is just about time to do the, uh, the marble drop to see who's going to win the, uh, the million bells in the old Animal Crossing. And I need some more water. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get up. I'm going to grab some more water. And uh, then we're going to come back and we're going to do the marble drop to see who's going to win the million bells in Animal Crossing. Um, so if you want to enter, be sure to put exclamation point in the chat. And uh, then we'll give this cloud fight another try. But I'm feeling good about this with this deck now. I think, I think we're doing good. All right, we'll be right back then accused of a crime they did not commit. Sometime after this, Luke decided to follow the example of other heroes and took a more traditional pseudonym, Power Man. 
Around this time, Luke was also hired by Mr. Fantastic and briefly joined the Fantastic Four to fill in for a depowered Ben Grimm. Cage also had some success fighting alongside Doctor Strange's mismatched team of heroes known as the Defenders, but he soon decided he was ill-suited to the team's otherworldly adventures. The next big change in Luke's life came when he was contacted by a criminal calling himself Bushmaster. Bushmaster had kidnapped Claire and Noah. In exchange for their lives, he demanded that Cage capture and bring him a woman named Misty Knight, a detective that had gotten close to Bushmaster to spy on his organization, only to betray him to protect her ally, Iron Fist. Bushmaster attempted to sweeten the deal by revealing that one of his flunkies, the Gadget Man, had previously worked for Willis Stryker and had kept evidence of Stryker framing Lucas. He even conscripted Shades and Comanche into his evil scheme, who you may remember as Luke's former fellow gang members turned cellmates. Seeing little choice, Power Man broke into Danny Rand's Manhattan townhouse expecting to find Misty Knight, but instead ran into her partner and best friend, Colleen Wing. While Colleen could do little more than hold off Cage in a direct encounter, she was fortunately able to call Misty and Danny for help. While Cage's enhanced strength was able to overpower Misty's bionic arm, Danny Rand, the mystically powered Iron Fist, was able to knock Luke back with his eponymous technique. It soon became clear that Power Man and Iron Fist were evenly matched, with Danny's skill allowing him to keep up with Luke's strength. At the climax of this fight, Cage was able to get his fingers around Iron Fist's neck. While hesitant to kill, Danny prepared a technique to escape Luke's grasp that might have been fatal. Fortunately, Power Man also had a distaste for bloodshed and released his grip on his opponent. Out of options, Luke explained to Iron Fist and his allies who he was and why he attacked, including his... Alright, and we are back, and it is time for the marbles! Let's see here, let me get this all ready to go. Let's see, let's see. This looks like a cool one. I'm, I'm excited about the drop on this one. So who do we got in here? We got Vento, Nanners, Dark Side Destiny, Foreteller, and Nova Blackwood. So... Anyone else wants to draw to uh, drop their balls? Um, put exclamation point play into the chat. Oh, thank you, Bento. I was kind of worried if it was like a bit much on the BRB screen, but I guess that's okay anyway. Threw up like I threw up like an ad on it for like the T-shirts and the Patreon and stuff because I just realized like I'm not good at promoting, so I never really tell anybody about like the shirts and stuff. So. I like decided ah, I'll just put like a GIF on the uh, on the BRB screen, so that way when I get up to pee or whatever, at least people know that the shirts exist. Because I'm not, I never, I never want to be like, hey guys, buy my shirts. <laughs> I was like, no, nah, I'm not gonna do that. But uh, I do have a shirt. All right, so we're gonna drop the balls. Let's uh, let's make that happen. Let's get ready to go. And thank you, Anova. Yeah, I, I thought about that, but I feel like, you know, a BRB screen, it doesn't really matter if it's super busy, because it is just, you know, meant to be a, a placeholder until I get back. And the balls are going! Oh my god, they're all clumped together. Look at this. Oh, it's anybody's game now. Everyone is... Oh, I think Nanners is out in front, technically. Sure is. Oh, they're going down. And let me, uh... Let me zoom out a little bit here. Yes. Oh, they're, they're circling that drain. Oh, although Vento might be already up ahead. Where? No, Nanners is still in first place here. Oh, Nanners got pretty lucky and scooped right down through that hole. Is Nanners going to keep the lead, though? Perhaps. She just needs to. Oh, my God. No one, no one is going down through here yet. Who's it going to be? Who's going to be the first one down through there? And, oh, Foreteller, Nanners, Destiny. Oh, you're all, you're all getting scooped. Oh, is that a cannon? Oh, that's a cannon. Ho, 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 look at this. Down through this one. Oh, this is a fun course. I like this. Let's 
see here. Who's it? Who's technically in first now? Destiny? Oh, there they go. You're not supposed to be winning. Oh, Anova, where are you? Where is Anova? Oh, Anova, you're back on track here. Everyone is uh, still not too far away. Like, Anova is right there, and... Oh, Forteller is up ahead. Oh, there's... Forteller is scooped. Oh, everyone's getting scooped. This is still anybody's game. You guys are all kind of clumped together. Oh, but it looks like Cage Forteller is going to be the winner. There it goes. That's it. Forteller is the winner. But thank you so much to all of our participants. We are going to go ahead and uh, wait for this to uh, to wrap up. Who is still rolling along? Looks like, yeah, Anova is... Oh, 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 Anova. Oh, no. Oh, are you going to land? Are you going to land in there? Nope. It's... Oh! Cage Forteller, you're the winner. That means you win one million bells in Animal Crossing New Horizons. So I'm going to go ahead and send you the, uh, the Dodo code for that. If you do not play Animal Crossing yourself, you are free to give this code to someone who does so they can use it to come to my island and claim their million bell prize. So, boop! You are more than welcome to drop by any time this evening to use that code. Actually, first I've got to uh, make sure this is open. Because I always have it so that um, people can't stumble on that code before I give it out. But there we go. Okay. So yes, as of right now, anytime tonight, uh, you are able to drop by and uh, pick up those hundred bells. Uh, there's also like some, uh, like D uh, DIYs that I don't need. Uh, you're free, f feel free to help yourself to any fruit that you don't already have. Um, that kind of thing. But yes, that should be all set to go here. Now we're gonna put the game audio back on. So we're gonna head over here again. This game all right, but if I zoom it, hang on. I, I'm, let me check this here. This one kind of... Yeah, if I zoom it, that kind of cuts off some of the... Uh, some of the... Uh, some of the HUD display. So I don't know if you guys prefer that or not. If you, got, if you guys would prefer it to be zoomed like this, then uh, then be sure to yell at me, because otherwise I'll just leave it as, uh, as normal. <clears throat> I have, like, the zoom uh, scene like plugged in like that mostly for if I'm playing something that's uh, that's 4x9 through HDMI because that way it'll still uh, um, it'll fill out the screen properly but I don't know if it works well for this uh, okay yes we were gonna give Cloud another try oh yeah that's right I feel like the main thing with this the main thing with Cloud here is that I need to make sure to dodge him more. Looks better not zoom. That's what I was generally thinking. Most stuff that's 16 by 9. Like, this is the default when I go through for 16 by 9 stuff. But, um, yeah, if, if stuff was made for, like, a wider screen, or a, a thinner screen, I guess, the 4 by 3 stuff, that, uh, that I go to the zoom view for. All right, so for Cloud, I need to just make sure to... I need to dodge him. And then what... If I can pay attention to when he's about to reload... Then, when he's reloading, I can really wail on him. Alright. So, skip. And right away, I'm gonna use my Heartless thing there. So that increases the strength of all my cards. So let me go... Boop, boop. And target him. There we go. That made your day? Nice. I'm glad to hear it. Anything I can do, if, if anything I do gives anybody the slightest bit of joy, then everything has been worth it to this point. Oh, I got him this time. I think upgrading my deck like I did is really what's going to make the difference here. I think when I... Oh, well, it's fine. Got him. Yeah, upgrading my deck really made the difference here. Thank you, uh, Forteller. I'm glad you enjoyed it.
Yeah, that worked. Yeah, that time I just overpowered him. Because the thing is, like, he's not really that tough as long as you dodge his stuff when he starts, like, going ham. That's the thing. When he starts going ham, you just gotta get out of his way. Whew, but yeah, beefing up my deck really hurt, really helped there. Did a little bit of grinding to make that happen, but it worked. Cloud, where'd you go? Uh, yes, you can absolutely take a few peaches. When, uh, like, my general rule when people come to my island is don't shake all the trees, but if you see any fruit you don't already have, please help yourself. Like, feel free to shake any one of the different types of trees. And yeah, Cloud looks badass in these games for sure. I, I, I love it. He's got, he's got that, like, edgy 90s look to him. Which fits. He headed to the finish line. We better go after him. Right. Yes, if you need any any different kinds of fruit, because I do have an orchard, like, kind of... Um, like, if you go through the peach forest, like, to the north, there's, like, a bit of an orchard that has the other kinds of uh, uh, fruit there. Then, uh, yeah, feel free to take any that you're missing. And yes, the, DL the DIYs are by the, uh, by the entrance, too. I also have a... I don't have them put out right now, just because there ended up being too many, and it's hard to... Uh, keep them sorted but i do have a ton of fossils just in uh, in storage so uh, if anybody is missing any fossils or needs yeah, any yeah. like hit me up on discord after the stream just like um uh, yeah post in the discord actually that'd be the best place to do it if, if you're not already in there you can put exclamation point discord in the to, uh, the chat to get a link um but yes, if anybody needs any fossils, then go into the gaming section on the Discord. Let me know, and I'll see if I've got what you're missing, because I probably do. Woo! Got your last fossil today? Nice. I do like how the fossils is, is like, the uh, one of the things you can kind of uh, collaborate with other people and, like, help each other collect them all. I kind of wish it was, like, that way with... Uh, with the fish and the bugs, because there's not really a way to trade those or uh, help other people collect them. Honestly, I just wish that you could donate to other people's museums. That would be fun. Especially since, like, in the museums itself, it says who, uh, who donated each item. But unless you have multiple players on the same Switch, I don't think that really matters. Maybe in a future update or something, who knows. Okay, so I've got that card, which I needed. Uh, number three or lower? Okay, so... Or three... Oh, number three or lower. Interesting. Uh, let me see. What do I got here? There's a one. Sure. Heart I don't know if I want to burn that one. Heartless attack relentlessly. Victory often leads to premium bonuses. Black fun guy here. I'll use one of these. Whatever. This is fine. I should have used a one. Whatever. Yes, I don't think I have spears of every fossil, but I have a, like... I have at least one extra of the majority of them. You lost. Give it up, Cloud. We're not done yet. Oh my god, Cloud's even got the freaking the studded, um, the studded, like, Hot Topic belt that has, like, you know, the, the metal parts going all around the outside edge of it that, like, Everybody wore in like 2003. You know the one I'm talking about. Fellow old people, you know what I'm talking about. He's got that belt. That's amazing. Oh yeah, they're, they're, I haven't looked too deeply into what the details are, but they're doing some summer stuff for it. Being able to swim, that's often. We stand an edgy king. I mean, Cloud is an edge icon. Also, like when I saw the, there were... It's like, I kind of had, like, the concern. It's like, I don't know, how long am I going to be able to keep doing these million bell giveaways? Like, are people going to care for Animal Crossing forever? Like, because I, I want to keep doing it, but is it going to keep being popular? And they announced, like, they were doing, like, new updates. And I was like, yeah, I get to keep giving away bells because people are going to keep needing them. It's awesome. I enjoy playing the, uh, the stock market probably more than I should. I've got, like, a whole section layered off in my, uh, on my island just to pile up turnips better worry about yourself. Looks to me like you're slowing down a bit. Ugh. Don't worry. I'll back you up. Are we fighting together against Cloud? Interesting. 
you'll steal all my fossils when you can play. Hey, no worries. Like I said, any that you're missing or that you that, uh, that you want, you can find like checklists online, obviously. But I'll send you whatever you need. Get all the backup you want. I'm gonna finish you and get back my memories. Plan on digging your entire island soon, and that's gonna take money. Oh yeah, there you go. That's the thing. I feel like there's always gonna be uses for money in the game. At least somebody's gonna need money in it. And like I said, I just I just enjoy playing the stock market. I get a weird kick out of like going on to like the turnip profit and like trying to predict what's gonna happen. Thunder! That sounds like a super villain. Now, now, Cloud, we don't want you to spill the beans. I knew it was going to be him. I've got James Woods. Da, da. The island editor is a good time. Hades, you! Looks like you oversold yourself. All he ever did was wear him down. This doesn't look good for your performance rating. Let me put it this way, my spiky-haired friend. You are fired. Huh? But my memories. We had a deal! Yeah, do you really think you can get your lost memories back just like that? Get a grip! Why, you! Out of the way, I'll take care of the Hercules myself. Yeah, no, good one. I guess Hercules was too played out. Like being half crazy wildland. Yeah, I haven't done too much. I I've done some editing of like that kind of thing. It's mostly if I like get an idea, which is basically how I've been playing Animal Crossing. Like I said this before, I'll just play it casually and play the stock market, and then I'll get an idea and be like, "Oh, I know what I want to do." Omni slashing right now, Cloud. I know your limit break is ready after getting molly whopped like that. <laughs> oh, sick burn. Rule number five: It's never too late to enter the game. Okay, so we're going to have to fight... I mean, of course we're going to have to fight Hades. Of course he's the boss here. Hades, you were behind this from the start. Cloud may have failed to take you out, but he did break you down. Time for plan B. Pack your pita, Herc, because... Pack your pita. Pack your pita, Herc, because you just won a free trip to the underworld. Paid by me. Got like a little Punisher thing on his... Like clipping his uh, robe together. Yes, I know, it's just a skull. Hold it. Sora, no! Well, that was Hercules. Whatever. Come on, Herc. How can you go one-on-one -on -one if you're in the underworld? I don't know. I kind of figured we'd fight Cloud and then we'd fight Herc, but, you know, of course it's going to be Hades. Why wouldn't it? Good point, kid. Guess you just have to go with him. Rule number six, there are no rules. That doesn't even make sense. There have been like five rules before that. Had a whole movie, but Hades could only beat her if he willingly gave up his godhood. All right, let's go smash this boy. Oh, hang on, I want to do this first. He's getting his stuff ready. Oh god, he's got this again. He's got the fire again. Of course he does. Why wouldn't he? No, get up, back away. Damn it. Oh, gee. Oh, God. He used that. Okay, that's not good. Can I dodge under that? Oh, I can't. Damn it. Okay, good to know. Okay, and using that card counts as a reload. I thought I noticed that before. Oh, dang it. Oh, wait. There we go. I'm being dumb. Okay. I might, this might need another try, but I don't think I need to, like, grind anything out for it. Okay. Oh, that's right, yeah, zero, oh, zero will break a slate. Yeah, that makes sense, because zero, yes, zero breaks anything, but will be broken by anything. But I mean, <clears throat> yes. So I should, if, if he uses a slate, I should be able to break it just by using one of my own slates, just because my deck is kind of beefy. I, I have the numbers I need, I just need to actually do the combat right now. So his thing's not that hard to dodge, I can get out of the way, I can prep my slate and I can smack him. Because once I interrupt it, then it'll stop doing that. That's the thing that took me forever to figure out during the Jafar fight, is that I can just use a card to, like, counter him. 
So, first off, that. And okay, so he's got a slate ready, so boop, boop, boop. Got another one good to go? Nope. <coughs> reload. Oh, damn it. He messed up my reload. It's fine because I can still reload manually, obviously. Dang it. Oh, this is not going to work. Okay, I, know, I need That's to... It. Okay, this That's is not going to work either. Okay, now. Now, Take this. That. Dang it. Take that. Okay, there we go. Take now we're that. back in the game. That's it. Oh, he's got a slate ready. Take that. Good to go. That's it. Whatever, That's it. I'll just. <laughs> there we go. Got him. I know a little bit about Godzilla. There's a, actually a video on the channel about Marvel's version of Godzilla. Oh, sweet. I'm glad I helped you pay off your loan. Nice. Thanks, guys. Yeah, the thing that. Um, um, the thing that my brain is still not really clicking into, like, super good is that I can just use a card to, like, if I have a card or a slight that's stronger than his, I can just play it to interrupt his attack. Like, even, I think I can do that even if he's far away, right? Like, even if my attack misses him, it'll still interrupt his attack. I think that's right. Is Godzilla a superhero? I don't know if I would call him a superhero. <laughs> he's also, like... Godzilla, like, may or may not be a good guy depending on, like, the movie and the era. Well, there's, like, 25 or 26 Godzilla movies or something ridiculous. There's so many, so... Godzilla has been presented as both a good guy and a bad guy. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. That's, that's the thing that I'm not utilizing enough. Is that I can... I can interrupt their attack without actually hitting them. And I feel like I'm... You know, when I get better at clicking into that and just being like, oh, I can play this slate and just use these cards and stop what he's doing, even if he's, like, too far away to actually hit, like, that that's the thing that I'm not clicking into super well. But, I mean, it's also obviously better off if I can hit him, but, you know. All things being equal, if I just want, if I want to stop what he's doing, sometimes I have the ability to do that and I don't capitalize. Two words. Everyone is... Pooped. <laughs> he said poop. Wait, that was more than two. You gotta be kidding. What about my match with Hercules? I'm sorry, Sora, but you wouldn't want me to compete in this con condition. Let's have a match when I've rested up a bit. Can you wait? Well, I guess so. Okay, I'll hold you to that. Then it's settled. Sora, over here, he's coming around. Oh, is it Cloud? Oh, Jiminy. And Cloud, obviously. You okay? Yeah. Oh, boy. Sorry, I messed up your games. Oh, Cloud, come back. Join our party. Hey, I hope you get your memories back. Playing spells, matter deck, and stuff that activates when uh, you just cast something. Uh... You can counter if you want, but you don't need to resolve to get what you want. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like I'm picking up what you're putting down. The combat in this game is still... <laughs> it, it's complicated just in the way that the card game... Like, the card game on its own is pretty simple. I think I said this earlier. The cards are not that complicated, but the card game mixed with the real-time combat and how to do the timing and everything, that's kind of what makes it complicated. Forget about what Hades said. Sometimes the tiniest thing can make you remember stuff you forgot years ago. 
If it's an important memory, there's no way it could ever be gone forever. That's what I think, anyway. Ooh, we do get Cloud. Kind of. We get a Cloud card. That's for you, for helping me out. Sure you don't want to just come with us instead? Easy to learn, difficult to master. That's the best way for, uh, for stuff like this, in my opinion. Not interested. We got this card, that's something. Card obtained, Cloud! It's only at level 4, but alright. see what it does. Zant, you're up where you're not supposed to be again, aren't you? Oh well, it's my, my fault for... I knew it was going to happen. Zant just ejected the disc. Oh my god, I hope I don't lose that pro progress. Zant, get down. Get down. Get down. Oh boy. Oh boy. I knew it was going to happen eventually. I put a thing there so he couldn't jump up there. I kind of figured he would stop doing it, but gosh dang it. Well, that probably lost that progress, didn't it? All right, let's see where we are. I hope I didn't lose that entire episode. When did I last save? Oh, no. This game doesn't autosave at all, does it? This is going to be a bad time, isn't it? All right. Start playing. Yep. This is my fault. I should not have put the PlayStation there. I figured it was fine. I wanted it to be there so it was nice and airy. But uh, that's where the cats like to jump up and sit. And I was like, it's fine. I'll just put this Iron Man helmet on top of it and they won't try to jump over it. No, they'll jump directly over it and get right up there. All right, let's see where we're at. Good. Oh no, this is like way the heck back. Uh, okay. Okay. Well. Well. Uh, gosh dang it. I lost all my levels and stuff too. Well. So now what? I don't have any of my good cards anymore. Man, this is further back than I thought. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm getting really hungry. I think we're going to end things off here. <laughs> I'm going for about two and a half hours now. Just save was why not? Level 16. Apparently I do. Apparently I do. I also need to, like, not have the PlayStation there. Yeah, I'm going to end off for today. Because, honestly, I'm hungry. I don't, like, funny, I'll... Funny story. The uh, power was, like, half out here in the apartment before, uh, earlier today. So, uh, I didn't have dinner properly because my oven wasn't working earlier today. So, I probably need to eat anyway. But, uh... Let's see who's online that we can go say hi to. Oh, it looks like Jinx is streaming anyway, so we'll go we'll go say hi to Jinx at. You guys can hang out with her. But um, yes, we are going to uh, uh, between this and uh, yes, it is Jinx Subathon. Yes. So before uh, before we play this again next week, I'll get back to where I was. I'm not going to do all of that on stream again. I'll see if I can get most of that done here uh, this evening. Um, because tomorrow we're going to be playing some more Captain America Super Soldier for the uh, uh, for the Xbox 360s. We're going to keep that going until we beat that one or until we get frustrated with it. Whatever happens first, you know how it is with these uh, licensed games. Um, hopefully there will be a new video up on the YouTube channel this week. I'm making good progress on that. As I mentioned before, I'm back to work full time. So yeah, there's only so much time I can put into that. Um, for 
Uh, updates on that. You can join me on the Discord. You can follow me on Twitter. Um, anyone playing Animal Crossing, if you do want any fossils that you're missing, like I said, be sure to hit me up because I will uh, I'll do my best to hook you up. We're going to get this raid going here. Uh, so yeah, when we come back next week, um, I might have to... Uh, maybe we'll do the Hades fight again, pick up from there. So that way we don't miss anything in the, in terms of cutscenes. That's probably what I'll do. I'll like get myself all good and ready and we'll, uh, we'll start at, uh, at there from there, same time next week. I need to get some food anyway because I am famished. So we're going to get this. Oh, thank you guys for hanging out. You guys are awesome. You guys make this worth doing. I'm, I'm so thrilled. Anyone even wants to hang out for me for a minute? It's pretty cool. So we're going to get this raid going. Thank you guys once again so much for joining me. Be sure to give some jinx, some hype and love in the chat when you get over there. And until next time, true believers, Excelsior!